then need to transfer our income statement account balances to the balance sheet using the close income statement process. This is going to create your journal entry lines for you. Then your income statement account balances become zero and the net income or net loss is posted to the retained earnings account on the balance sheet. To do this, we're going to need to go to Departments, Financial Management, Periodic Activities, Fiscal Year, and Close Income Statement. And this is going to take you to the Close Income Statement dialog box. Now on this box, we're going to need to fill out the Fiscal Year Ending Date field. In our example, let's enter December 31st, 2017. Then we're going to need to populate the general journal template field. And this is going to be the name of the general journal template that the entries are placed in. For our example, we're using our general general journal template. But if you use this drop down arrow, you can see that you can select from all of the options that are specified here. So if we tab off of this field, we're going to go to our general journal batch field. And this is going to be the name of the general journal batch that the entries are placed in. For our example, we're using our default batch. Next, we have our document number field. And this field is going to be automatically populated with the next available number in the number series for your general journal batch. We have G00002 automatically filled in for us here. Then we have our retained earnings account. And this is going to be the account that the retained earnings are placed in. So if we use this drop down menu, you can see that we have account 30,200 selected here, which is our retained earnings account as specified in the chart of accounts. Next, we have a posting description, and this is going to be the description that appears on your journal entry lines. We also have this optional business unit code field populated here. And you can select this field if, for example, you're running the closing process in a parent company that's used in a consolidation. In that situation, you should check this box and the process will create a closing entry separately for each company. But because we're not using a parent company right now, we're going to leave this field blank. We also have this dimensions field right here. And we do recommend that you enter a value in this dimensions field, because if you don't, then the retained earnings account balance won't be posted by dimensions, and you may have to process separate reclassification entries later on. So if we click this Assist button, you can see that we can select our dimensions here. And for our example, we're using our department dimensions, but of course you could select division or purchaser if you also wanted to but we're just going to use our department dimension for today. And then I'm going to click OK. And now if we go to our general journal, you can see that the entries were automatically populated for us in our default batch, which is what we specified on the dialog page and we would go through and verify that all of these entries were correct. And then we can hit post to post your journal lines. And there you have it. All of your income statement account balances have been moved over to your balance sheet. Thank you.